In this edition of Higher Ed Highlights, Chancellor Gardner was recently in Columbus for the Ohio Association for Career Technical Education's 42nd Annual Career Technical and Adult Education Legislative Seminar. During the course of the three-day seminar, attendees met with and heard from legislators and other state leaders and discussed legislative priorities when it comes to career technical education. Chancellor Gardner provided morning remarks on the second day of the seminar and said his message was one of inclusion, gratitude, and of having more work to do with career technical education. He praised education leaders for taking a collaborative approach across the state to preparing students and reinforced that career tech and Ohio Technical Centers have been a major priority of the DeWine Houston administration. Yes, you had a a pretty strong budget, at least comparatively with history, 31% increase over the last four years, pretty good. Uh, I would suggest, uh, I can't make a promise, the next budget needs to be considered yet, but I would expect you'll do do more, we'll do more, because there's need to do more. There's, there's so much to do. The Chancellor thanked those Ohio Technical Centers that have been involved with the Tech Cred program, the state's program that he said has provided tens of thousands of certificates and credentials while upskilling workers and making Ohio businesses stronger. He also thanked the legislature for its work in budgeting funds for short-term certificates. Uh, and one of the questions came up, I think, about short-term certificates. So that was done by the legislature. Um, over $2 million uh, over the biennium, perceptually, for, for uh, a technical center. But that might, that might change a little bit. What we're going to do is evaluate how we do it. How are the community colleges, and the community colleges and technical centers are the two, two sectors involved. How are you doing? Are you able to disperse the dollars? Are you able to utilize those dollars? Are students being served? I know some of you have already dispersed all of you was allocated already. Fantastic. You're meeting the needs in a, in a prompt way of your students. After his remarks, the chancellor took time for questions from the audience and spoke with the two legislators honored by the Ohio ACTE as its public servants of the year, Representative John Cross and Senator Bill Reinecke. Look for Higher Ed Highlights on the Ohio Department of Higher Education's YouTube page and through our Facebook page and Twitter feed. And check out our website at ohiohighered.org.